All right, let's look at getting processing. Processing is located at processing.org and you can go to the download section. Now, do not get the 64-bit versions because if you're interfacing with the Arduino unit, you want to use serial commands. And if you're using serial commands, the 64-bit version does not support serial commands. So you want the 32-bit version. And you can download that and put it anywhere on your hard drive. It doesn't really matter. You can put it in a program files 86. Notice Mac doesn't have a 64-bit version, so it's cross-compatible. And all serial commands work with Mac OS. So this is an operating language that operates across all platforms. And that's pretty nice. No other one that I can think of other than Python is as powerful as this. So, um, to get started, just download that and then I have that now installed onto my uh, right now just desktop, but I'm going to move that over right now because uh, it, it's good to good to start from uh, a good starting point and having it on your desktop probably isn't a really good thing. So I'm going to take this and copy it and if you're on a PC, I would move it into the program 86 directory and paste it there. There we go. Perfect. And just like before, you know, you're going to be using this all the time. I'm going to put it down here. So you get a different icon altogether. Even though it's very similar looking. I mean, it's got the same same folder structure, same everything that um, the Arduino software has. So our number one goal is to get some kind of program that allows us to change the RGB value of the RGB LED that we set up in the last lesson. So right here I have the blue one, or well it's blue now because I have blue code over there. But what we want to do is build a small graphic user interface to change this value. And I'm not really concerned about clicking, I'm most mostly concerned about using the uh, keyboard so I don't have to use the this little guy serial monitor okay so here's a fresh new sketch and let's start out just by writing some code right because that's fun stuff so the first thing we're going to do is keep it very simple and we're not going to worry about the uh, values of um, pulse width modulation readout that we got earlier. Then we're going to look at how we can adapt it to spit out those values. Okay. So to start out with, it's import processing. And then uh, period serial. Then a period asterisk oh, or semicolon. Import processing period serial, period star, semicolon. And then we'll say serial my port semicolon now if you want let's let's say we want to cheat a little bit here okay not cheat per se but if you go to the examples they've got all kinds of good stuff here 
I have a simple write here and that will write some of it for us and we can Frankenstein it a little bit so in other words we got the import processing serial I can just cut out this top half um, we have we don't need an initial value so we can get rid of that we could save ourselves some time in coding here because we need the string port name period list alright now let me explain what's going on before we chop shop this basically what's going on is um, we're opening up a serial port and what's nice about processing is it looks for the Arduino unit it, it, it's not like we have to state exactly it's on COM4 or COM7 or COM8 it can find it just pretty easy so that's really nice in this case it's looking for an open port it's looking for data that's serial related and it's looking for a baud rate of 9600 so if it finds that it'll start working for you alright really um, the rest of this stuff uh, I'm not going to be using any of it <laughs> so I'm just going to use a void draw get that out of here so this is where our loop is okay. and I can get rid of the rest of this too so you can, that's a nice clean slate saves you some time for the typing and now we're going to look at some commands and one of the commands that you're going to use all the time is key pressed so, key pressed and then we'll write an if statement if key is absolutely equal to that's why the two equal signs be on the keyboard and the other one is located now let me find this on the keyboard copy this real quick yes that's what it was okay cool so if you use shift in the key underneath the backspace you can get this right here so I need two of those and then I'll need to separate it so key is absolute equal to B this way we have our uppercase and lowercase covered Then we'll open up that bracket. And I'm just going to close that bracket and try it out because I want to make sure that this is going to work. To make characters without matching. Okay, I'm just going to seal that off one more time here. Good. Now, the reason it didn't work is because um, it's having a hard time finding the Arduino unit just yet. So, I still got some code to write. But other than that, let's uh, plug on right after the B. Let's go to fill. Zero. This is going to fill a little tiny box, and the box is going to flash. And what's nice about that is I can tell if it's working or not. So, my port period right and I'm running um, the numbers 98 98 is B lowercase okay so I'm sending a lowercase B to the Arduino unit using that code and again um, I'll show you here in one of the next videos where I got that information 
uh, how to find it very quickly. I showed it in one of the other videos, but that's okay. I'll, I'll show it again. I'm going to put a delay out there of 1,000. Just like that. And then I'm going to write an else statement here that says, if this isn't happening, fill it with a different color. And you'll see that here in a second. So else, opening closing bracket. I'm going to get rid of these, by the way. Let's get rid of all those. And we'll write else. Fill two fifty five. So zero is black, two fifty five is white. Okay, I'm closing that else statement up and I'm writing a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be uh, twenty five. 25 in the middle of a 50 by 50 palette. Okay, we'll get more into that a little bit later, but for right now, uh, just know that <laughs> there's this big, huge palette, and in between it or on it sits fit, uh, 25 by 25 square that lights up by having black and white. Okay. Uh, let's hit play and see what kind of chaos we can ensue. Alright, let's uh, also save this. And why I like to save this is under my documents. Under processing. I call it simple serial. And my job now is to make sure I close out of anything that's taking over the port. Like this right here. <laughs> yep, that would take it. Perfect. If I hit B on the keyboard, you can see this flash. And it's only for a second. But it is flashing. On my side of the street, I'm also seeing that the blue light on the L Arduino unit is popping on. So let me switch over to Arduino Cam. And if I hit B on the keyboard, oh, and I have to be in the processing. Okay, so if I have to be in this window and I hit P or B in the keyboard, you can see that it lights up. Anytime I hit B, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. All right, so that is a very basic example. Very, very basic. Now let's add on to it in the next video.